I feel him the most when I'm adventuring. Ryan and I met when we were 13. We met in high school. We just clicked immediately. He waited until I was 16 and then we started dating. He was the only boy I ever dated. When he was 19, he joined the Navy. He was on a ship for a while. And then he decided to change career paths and go EOD, which is Explosive Ordnance Disposal. He became an EOD tech, and then we went to a courthouse and got secretly married at 21. He loved adventuring. He'd come pick me up on my lunch break and be like, yeah, I just went skydiving. He wouldn't tell anyone. That was one of the really amazing things about him is he did what he wanted, and he didn't care who told him no. That's what he loved to do. He scuba dove every single day for work, and we went snorkeling and zip lining in the Dominican Republic. We would go on hikes and find these giant holes of water and jump in, which I'm terrified of all things water, so... Uh, but I felt safe with him. Every single time he would book something and just tell me we're gonna do it, I'd be like, no, I'm okay, you can go. But he'd be like, just do it, it's fine, it's gonna be okay, I'm here. And every single time I would just, I would love it. He was always proud. He was fun. He was a really fun person. He was the most amazing person I've ever known. And I don't, I don't know if I'll ever know someone as amazing as him. Almost exactly a year ago, I get a phone call from a San Diego number that I didn't know and something told me to answer it. And when I picked it up, it was Ryan's captain and he said, hey, I don't, want to scare you or anything, but Ryan was in an accident, a motorcycle accident. A woman turned left right in front of Ryan, and he didn't have time to react, and his motorcycle hit the passenger side of her car. The fire department happened to be driving back to the station that was right there, so they saw it happen, and they took him to the hospital, and they tried to resuscitate him, but it was too late, and... He was already gone for an hour before I got even got to the hospital. And it did feel like a fog after that. It was, I mean, I hope that no other military wife has to go through this, but if you do, the military really takes care of you. They helped me plan everything. We had like a big memorial and then the burial. And then after that, it was kind of like, what do I do now? I think a lot of times when people grieve, it's really easy to just shut everyone out and go into a dark hole and not want to do anything because you feel like you're, you feel like your life is almost pointless in the beginning. Like, what do I do next? So my friends got me a Christmas present and they booked adventures for every single month of this year. So they wanted to keep pushing me to do stuff and that has helped me so much. I don't even think they realized what that present meant to me and how it's helped me. The adventure started in January. The first one was bungee jumping. I had to really find safety in myself because you're relying on these cords and you just do it. That's what I've been doing. I've been just saying, just go for it. Like what's the worst that could happen? Four, three, two, one, three. I felt unstoppable after. The second one, we went to like a drive-in theater, which I'd never done before. That was really fun. March was sky sailing, which is like a glider plane without an engine. Um, and it gets brought up to the sky by a rope and then they let go and you just like fly on wind. I, do, I still don't understand how it works, but it, that was cool because they'll do like some G-force stuff and like dive down and back up and you feel like you're in a rocket ship or something. It's crazy. We went snorkeling in Cabo in April. Um, that was interesting. We're really scared. Oh, oh, in the middle of the ocean with no land anywhere. Oh, 
puzzle immediately. It was funny. It was a funny experience. Most of the adventures this year have been ocean related because they knew I was afraid of it, which is really rude, but it, I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> Where did you get this message? <laughs> did you get this message? Then help. <laughs> May was Catalina Island. We took like a golf cart tour around the island. That was really cool. I had never been to Avalon. Smile. These adventures have transformed me. I mean, I didn't think I would like surfing. I was terrified of it. I guess you'll never know what you're gonna like until you try it. When Ryan first passed, I was worried about his legacy just disappearing. I wanted to keep his energy alive. I started making TikToks thinking nothing. I was like, I just want to document all this stuff. And a couple of them kind of blew up. All these widows were commenting like, it's been five years and I haven't left my house and this is encouraging me to keep going or my husband just passed away and I don't know what to do. I want to get my story out and I want to help people branch out of their comfort zones. I feel like now that I've done things that I never thought I could do in a million years, I feel like I could do anything. And that's why I'm doing skydiving up per se. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. That is the one year anniversary of Ryan passing, which six months ago, I was joking about doing this. Like, oh, we should do something on the one year anniversary. Let's go skydiving and then I was like, no, I'm not, like, that's too much. I'm not gonna be able to do it that day. And then when we met Taylor, he texted me the next day and he's like, my company wants to send you guys skydiving and we wanna do it on the second. I was like, well, that's crazy. Cause I was choking about doing this and now it's happening. Ryan had been begging me to skydive like the entire time I knew him. So I know he's gonna be there with me and Sophia's coming with me. Sophia is marrying Ryan's brother next month in two weeks, so two weeks before her wedding. <laughs> I think she hates me, but she got herself into this too because she's the one that met Taylor. <laughs> A lot of our friends are coming. The people that started the adventures with me are coming. My parents will be there. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be really fun and I'm really grateful for this experience too. How are you feeling? Um, nervous, like seeing the, all the stuff here is a lot, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Andy reached out to me, to us, and uh, let us know that there's some Navy SEAL Foundation people, you know, Navy SEAL people coming down here doing this, and asked if we would be interested in helping out. How could we not be? Is it a special day, because I just miss him a lot, so it's just good to see Kayla jump out of an airplane, see her reaction. Yeah. Ryan would have been so blown away by this. This is awesome. I think he's going to be very, very impressed with his wife and, and what she's doing now. It's just incredible. What an experience. This is a special day for her especially, and us. This is celebrating Ryan's wedding year anniversary. We're doing it in style. Ryan motivated me to do adventures, and I hope that I can take that and keep motivating people to keep going in life and try new things and fun things. And I guess that's what Ryan did. Ryan just took life and made with it what he could. He, he only lived 26 years, but those 26 years were more full than most people 60, 70 years old live because he, he did everything he wanted to do.
really feel like these adventures are keeping his legacy alive and his life should be celebrated. I can't even describe the feeling. It was insane. <laughs> here, stay with me real quick. Stay right. Oh, here. how cool! Yeah. Today is the one-year um, anniversary, and yeah, I just miss him, and it means a lot that they did all this for us. So. Amazing. Thank you guys so Absolutely. much. It was incredible. My son would be very proud. <laughs> he would. He's probably cracking up right now. He's probably like, you did it. I didn't think you would. You finally did it. <laughs> it was amazing to see how many people he touched and I don't even think he realized it because he was so humble too. I guess my advice to people is there's so much this world has to offer and why miss out on opportunities because you're afraid of something that is probably not going to happen. Just do it because life is short.